Okay, let's uh, roll into our post-race winning team for the inaugural Quaker State 400 here at Kentucky Speedway. And uh, joining us up front is the number 18 M&M's Toyota of Joe Gibbs Racing. The driver is Kyle Bush, the crew chief is Dave Rogers, and the team owner is Coach Joe Gibbs. Congratulations, Kyle. This is your 22nd NASCAR Sprint Cup Series win, your second win here at Kentucky Speedway just this weekend. And it's your 99th National Series win. So I believe if I'm right, the next one will be 100, right? That's, that's pretty impressive, Kyle. Uh, Crew Chief Dave Rogers, congratulations. Coach Joe Gibbs, uh, congratulations. Kyle, talk about winning the inaugural race in the Sprint Cup Series here at Kentucky Speedway. You were asked that earlier on Friday, and, and, and it's got to be a big deal. Uh, it certainly is. You know, it uh, feels awesome to be able to come out here and, and run the way we did and to unload the way we did off the hauler. You know, Dave and the guys, all the engineers back at the shop did a phenomenal job with our race car to come here and, uh, and be fast right out of the gate. So uh, feels good about that. We didn't have many adjustments to make. We just kind of fine-tuned on it through the weekend. And, um, you know, it was definitely a, a special event here this weekend. We felt the energy. Uh, we saw the people. You know, it was really awesome to be able to bring it home in front of the, uh, the, all the Toyota folks that we have here as well, too. You know, the Camrys are built right here in Kentucky. So uh, it's a special night for us to put Camrys in victory lane and also David Rudiman for finishing second. But, uh, you know, it was a fun race, man. There was uh, some exchanges there on some restarts with Kozlowski and Stewart and, uh, and Johnson. You know, we were all racing back and forth a little bit. And my brother led early, so uh, it was certainly a, you know, a fun night for us. And couldn't be happier to be here in Victory Lane. This this one ranks right up there with the best of them. With, um, you know, I, I haven't won any of the big races, unfortunately, yet. But, um, you know, it ranks right up there with Las Vegas being another one of my prestigious wins that I feel like that uh, I've accomplished so far. Thank you, Kyle. And Crew Chief Dave Rogers, what are some of the things you might have had to done? Let's, let's go back to the test on uh, on Thursday here. How important was that test, and how were you able to take what you learned Thursday and apply it to the, getting to victory lane tonight? Yeah, like Kyle said, uh, the engineers did a great job. Um, we came off the truck really close to set up, and sometimes that's bad. We came off the truck really close and uh, actually sat out a little bit. We wanted to give Kyle a, a breather, and we let Denny get in the car and drive it, see, uh, see how he liked it. And then uh, Kyle went and drove the 20 car for a while. We just started playing driver swap just to so the crew chief could compare notes down the road. And then uh, when we got back in the car, got Kyle back in the car, some teams had made some progress and actually started going faster than us, and we started playing catch up. Um, but, but Kyle did a good job during the test day of, of talking about what he was going to need to race. We didn't focus on, on our lap times practicing. We focused on what we needed to race. Uh, gave me some good feedback after the truck race. We made adjustments to our primary car uh, yesterday morning. We're off in speed a little bit, but the car was doing one thing only, which is a good, good, plus, good thing. And I made some adjustments this morning, and during the race, uh, we didn't do much to it. We took a little wedge out nearly every stop, but that's about it. So uh, I think Kyle did a great job of dialing this team in while we're here Thursday and Friday. Kyle, it's your third win of the season. And also now you're the points leader by four over Carl Edwards. Coach Gibbs, uh, talk about uh, this, this race team. It, it uh, certainly uh, exhibited uh, a lot of resiliency out there here this evening. And I know you being a coach that you are, that had to be awful pleasing to you. Well, I think uh, Kyle and Dave will both tell you that uh, it's a total team sport. And when I watch these guys there going over the wall, that group is awesome, I got to tell you. They make great calls, and certainly um, the whole team performed extremely well. I felt like, and Kyle, I talked to Kyle before the race, and he said, hey, there's about seven, eight cars that are right there together. <laughs> he says, I don't know who's going to win this. And that's really way, the way it panned out, I think. There were a number of good cars, very close racing. But here, one thing I really want to emphasize is this, this crowd. I was out there coming back in from hospitalities, and honestly, they were 30 abreast trying to walk up to get in the stadium. Uh, they were coming over the top of the hills. Uh, th this is fun to be at a place like this. It was exciting. Everything was packed. I went out and did uh, sign a, a few autographs out at um, a video truck we had, and the people were just great. So 
hats off to this area, the racing, um, people in this area, everybody that was here, everybody that couldn't get here. We appreciate being here, and I think it's a huge deal. I appreciate NASCAR and everybody that, uh, Bruton and everybody that uh, helped us get to this, uh, this part of the country to race. Okay, we'll take questions now for Kyle, Dave, or Coach Gibbs. Let's start in the press box. Go ahead. No questions yet in the press box. We'll wait for that. Any questions downstairs for the winning team? Go ahead, David. David Carabell and NASCAR.com. Kyle, that last restart, I mean, I mean, how much did you think Jimmy had for you? And do you think David Ruderman over the radio, did he tie Jimmy up at all and, and, and give you a chance to get by or get, or get away? Yeah, uh, you know, there, I, I don't, did Jimmy and them come get tires on that one restart? So I knew he had fresher rubber than I did for a restart. So uh, I tried to do the best I could at being able to get a good restart, but um, I overshot my acceleration just by a little bit and spun my tires a fuzz and um, that allowed him to get a little bit of momentum on me so he got a good start and uh, you know we had to race down and turn one side by side rather than me getting a jump on him but uh, I was just hoping that the outside lane would prevail and that I could get a run through there and carry my momentum and, uh, and clear him down the back stretch and then just kind of race him into turn three so um, you know it was certainly a tense moment there for a second but uh, you know I saw after I took the white I saw the double zero coming on the 48 and getting there to uh, to make a move on him, you know, and it, I was uh, I was like, come on, Rudy, you know, if he if you start racing him and start holding him up, that's going to help me, and uh, and I can just not cruise through turns three and four, but at least concentrate on hitting my marks rather than seeing if somebody would get in my mirror and, and try to loosen me up or something like that. But uh, it was pretty awesome also to have a Camry come home one two, uh, like I said, being the, the the kind of the home state of where the Camry's built. Other questions. Let's go to the press box. I believe we've got a couple. Go ahead. Uh, Nate Ryan, USA Dave. For Kyle, did, did I hear you say in victory lane you're, gonna, you're staying overnight and then you're going to go to Slinger tomorrow? That's right. That, that only makes you the fastest man in the track, but also the smartest man given the traffic situation outside? <laughs> <laughs> I, I had this planned a lot long ago, not necessarily thinking about uh, what has transpired here tonight, but it uh, seems like I'm pretty smart, I guess. I'm just falling into the lucky... Category. Category. Other questions? Go ahead, Nate. You got a follow up? This is Kevin Kelly from the uh, Cincinnati Enquirer uh, for Kyle. Um, you've now won in four different series here at this track. You've led a lot of laps. Um, can you talk about what it is about this track that uh, you like so much? <laughs> I wish I knew. You know, it's, uh, it's certainly a driver's racetrack. There's a lot of characteristic here with all the bumps and, um, you know, the way you have to run the line around. Uh, whether it's the bottom or whether it's the second lane, um, you know, where the bumps are, figuring out that and whether you go through them or around them. And uh, certainly it makes for, um, you know, an interesting setup or having to really talk to your guys and be able to work uh, around a shock package or some springs that will really help your car to make it uh, handle the best through, through the turns over the bumps. And uh, you just take all that into consideration, do the best you can. And I've just been fortunate enough to work with some great people over the years and, uh, and have won and in all four, uh, in all three of NASCAR series as well as the ARCA series here when I was, I think, 17 or 18 years old. 